Gigacasting has emerged as a promising solution to streamline production, reduce costs, and improve electric vehicle performance. First, here's something we're sure you didn't know. The first electric car was showcased not in the 2000s, but in 1881 by Gustave Trouvé at the Paris Exposition. Aha! Not a Tesla. As much as it's hard to believe, electric vehicles were popular in the late 1800s and early 1900s until advances in the mass production of cheaper gasoline and diesel vehicles, especially the Ford Model T, led to a decline. Gas cars were quicker to refuel and cheaper to produce, and so made a lot of business sense. So what has changed that EVs are finally rising from the ashes in the 21st century? Are they now quicker to refuel and cheaper to produce? Perhaps. Tesla may not have been the first to dabble in electric cars, but they could be knighted as the innovators of gigacasting production techniques. So are they ruling the roost alone? Stick around as we reveal which automotive giants, including a surprise entry from China, are jumping on the gigacasting bandwagon. Could gigacasting can be secret weapon that propels EVs into mainstream adoption? Let's dive in and find out. We can say that gigacasting is the giant cookie cutter for car parts. Instead of making a car by piecing together lots of smaller parts like a puzzle, Gigacasting uses enormous die-casting machines to create large, complex pieces in one shot. Well, the traditional methods are like baking a cake layer by layer, which takes more time and effort. But with Gigacasting, you can make big sections of a car like the entire rear body all at once, saving time and reducing labor. Simply put, Gigacasting offers several key advantages. First, it simplifies production. Think of it as making one big Lego piece instead of putting together hundreds of tiny ones. Fewer parts mean fewer steps and less complexity. Second, it improves precision. Making a single piece ensures better accuracy, like cutting out one big shape rather than piecing together smaller ones. Third, it enhances structural integrity. Fewer joints and wells result in stronger, more solid structures, similar to having a single sturdy beam instead of multiple pieces nailed together. Fourth, it allows for weight reduction. Optimized designs can create lighter components, just as a single streamlined piece of equipment is lighter than many combined parts. Finally, it's cost-effective. Streamlined production lowers costs, much like buying in bulk is cheaper than purchasing items individually. Compared to traditional methods, gigacasting is a game-changer in automotive manufacturing. It allows automakers to combine dozens or even hundreds of parts into a single large casting. This not only simplifies the production process, but also opens up new possibilities for vehicle design and performance enhancement. At the heart of gigacasting technology are massive die-casting machines, often referred to as gigapresses. These machines are significantly larger than traditional die-casting equipment, capable of exerting clamping forces of up to 6,000 tons or more. This immense power is necessary to create the large complex parts used in EV manufacturing. The materials used in gigacasting are typically aluminum alloys. But why? For their lightweight properties and good castability, these alloys are carefully formulated to achieve the right balance of strength, ductility, and thermal properties required for automotive applications. The gigacasting process works as follows. Molten aluminum alloy is injected into a large precisely engineered mold or die at high pressure. The die is cooled rapidly, allowing the metal to solidify quickly. The die then opens and the cast part is removed. The part undergoes minimal post-processing and is ready for assembly. So the million-dollar question, why hasn't everyone jumped on board if gigacasting is such a game-changer? Is there no one else? Gigacasting comes with its fair share of challenges, making it more of a high-stakes adventure than a walk in the park. For example, Mold design requires advanced engineering, similar to designing a huge, intricate cookie cutter. Temperature control is crucial for quality, like baking a large cake evenly. Material properties must be consistent throughout the casting, much like ensuring every bite of a giant chocolate bar has the same taste and texture. Equipment maintenance is also a challenge, as the high stresses involved in gigacasting can wear out machine parts quickly, akin to using a heavy-duty blender non-stop. If there's one thing we can say about Tesla is that they have challenged the status quo, one electric mile at a time. Gigacasting has been called Tesla's invention. Why? Because they've been at the forefront of adopting the technology in EV production. The company first implemented gigacasting in the manufacturing of its Model Y electric SUV. In the Model Y production, Tesla uses gigacasting to create the rear underbody of the vehicle as a single piece. 
This part, which traditionally would have consisted of 70 or more separate components, is now produced as one unified structure. The company plans to expand gigacasting to create a front underbody piece and produce nearly the entire underbody as a single casting. Tesla's success with gigacasting has inspired other automakers to explore the technology, potentially setting a new standard for EV manufacturing. We can all agree that in the age of environmental consciousness, a production process cannot be called innovative until it ticks the sustainability box. Gigacasting fits the bill perfectly with its green advantages. And how's that? Firstly, it slashes energy consumption by reducing manufacturing steps and cutting down on energy-intensive processes like heat treatment and welding. Also, it minimizes material waste by creating single-piece castings that generate less scrap than assembling multiple stamped parts. And optimized designs further reduce material usage. We can say much like efficient packing in a suitcase. Moreover, the process is compatible with using recycled aluminum, paving the way for a closed-loop recycling system for end-of-life vehicles. This is akin to making sure no good ingredient goes to waste in a recipe. The weight reduction from lighter vehicle components boosts EV efficiency and range, potentially lowering the need for large batteries and thus reducing the demand for raw materials. It's like shedding extra baggage for a more efficient journey. Finally, gigacasting simplifies recycling at the end of a vehicle's life by reducing the variety of materials and joints, making the process smoother and more straightforward. Just like sweet tooth ants always swarm to sugary treats, innovation always attracts attention in any market. Tesla may have found the honeypot, and now everyone is buzzing around to get a taste of the action. Volvo, for instance, has announced plans to use gigacasting in its future electric vehicles, aiming to streamline production and boost efficiency. Not to be outdone, Toyota is pouring resources into large-scale casting technology for its ETNGA platform. Hoping to carve out a bigger slice of the EV market, Volkswagen is also exploring gigacasting for its next-generation EV platform, showing that the German giant is eager to keep up with the latest manufacturing trends. BMW isn't sitting on the sidelines either. They are deep into researching large-scale casting techniques for their future models, aiming to blend innovation with their signature luxury. Even Neo, the ambitious Chinese EV maker, is jumping on the bandwagon, adopting gigacasting for certain vehicle components to stay competitive. However, each company is taking a slightly different approach, showcasing their unique flavors in the gigacasting recipe. Some are focusing on rear underbody castings, much like Tesla's method, aiming to solidify the backbone of their vehicles. Others are exploring front underbody or full-frame castings, pushing the envelope to create more integrated and robust structures. A few are even investigating the use of gigacasting for non-structural components, perhaps looking to sprinkle efficiency across various aspects of their production process. These varying strategies reflect the different priorities and manufacturing philosophies among automakers. Some are laser-focused on strength and simplicity, while others are experimenting with flexibility and innovation. As the technology matures, we might see these approaches converge, like streams feeding into a river, or witness the emergence of new groundbreaking applications of gigacasting casting in EV production. Could gigacasting be the secret sauce that finally shatters the cost ceiling in the electric vehicle market? It sure looks like we're on the brink of something big. Imagine the integration with 3D printing, making molds as intricate as a Swiss watch. As costs drop and the benefits shine through, more automakers will likely jump on the gigacasting bandwagon. This method could expand beyond EVs, reshaping the entire automotive landscape. The impact on the EV market could be monumental. We can finally dream of more affordable electric vehicles and speeding up their adoption. New EV designs and architectures could emerge, sparking a wave of innovation. Sustainability improvements are also on the horizon, with continued refinement reducing energy consumption and waste, making Mother Earth smile. The supply chain might evolve too, with a shift towards fewer but more specialized suppliers. While it might be too early to dub gigacasting the secret weapon of EVs, its potential to accelerate the transition to electric mobility is undeniable. So folks, do you think gigacasting is the game changer we've all been waiting for? Revolutionizing the EV market and steering us toward a greener future? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our next exciting automotive content. See you in the next video.